There's this term called hospice wife. Hmm, so, right, so I'll give you the how it is, hospice wife. So a hospice wife, basically a man above 50, mm-hmm. marries a woman. Finally, he's been playing the field for 50 years, and now he's ready to get married. How you doing, guys? Welcome back to Coffee and Juice. So today we're going to talk about something called hospice wives. Now, obviously, this is another attack on the patriarchy. That's why sometimes it can get infused into my channel. So now keep in mind, if it's your first time tuning in, I live on two different continents. I do a six and a six. So I'm in Thailand six months out of the year, and then I'm back in America six months. And then in between, you know, I'm going to take you on my journeys, basically bouncing around Southeast Asia and potentially other states uh, in America. So obviously this is taken off and in my opinion in Thailand this has always been a thing but it didn't necessarily have a name so leave it to the Americans or the U.S. to come up with this moniker. So now the delineation between the two continents is going to be as follows in my opinion is that if you're in the U.S. and once again if you're seeking out a hospice wife and I'll put the definition of hospice up there for you if you're not familiar on where I'm going with this, is normally what a guy will do, and once again, it's a genius idea and bravo to you, is you know what your health status is, you know what age you're at, and you know what's going on. So when you hit your late 50s, 60s, you might say to yourself, you know what, I don't have any health insurance right or i do but i want somebody there because i can even admit this to you guys there's been times where you get that twinge in your chest and you say you know what this is it you know maybe 700 milligrams of caffeine before training wasn't the best idea right so what i say is that regarding these hospice wives in america normally what's going to happen is that Guys look to source out somebody with some money and somebody with some insurance. And obviously, women get their panties in a bunch because obviously they feel like they're being hoodwinked because now you have to be that caretaker, I would imagine so. But now, if we go to Thailand, or we could say Southeast Asia overall, is that what is the difference? Well, as you can see, you know, if you walk down the streets here, And part of this conversation is that there's a little bit of people being judgmental of men. And once again, you know, I'm a fan of man, and I call it how I see it. Is there anything wrong with a man who's in his 60s or 70s that wants to wake up next to a girl who's 20 years younger and basically look at youth and potentially may also invigorate himself? Of course. I mean, there's nothing wrong with that. That's a personal preference. But what happens is, is that I call them fem cells. They're going to try to box you in with words that are negative to basically make you feel guilty about what you like. So what I'm here to do is I'm here to explain it. I'm here to weigh in on it. So here we are. So now in Thailand, once again, we talk about being judgmental. And, you know, you see it if you've been down here long enough. The girl might be, you know, 20s, and the guy might be, you know, in his 60s. Now, obviously, what I would assume, is this a hospice wife idea in the making? I'm not 100% sure if the guy's thinking that far ahead or if he is. So now, it could just be that, you know, an older man enjoys the company of a woman, and obviously, you would have to assume there's some type of... uh, monetary allocation that sustains the relationship at a current state. Now, the thing is that if you want to grab a hospice wife out here or in the Philippines, and there's a reason why I bring that up, is that is there really any type of contract where, God forbid, you fall ill and somebody's going to stay? I mean, I don't know how that gets worked out, et cetera, but you could basically support that, that particular entity or woman and they can dip on you when you get sick and you're basically laying in a hospital. But it's a, it's an idea. Now, the reason why I bring up the Philippines 
is that if I was going to pick up a hospice wife, is that I would want to select someone who's already a nurse. And if you know anything about the Philippines, it seems that every, every girl I, I've ever met, maybe seven out of 10, is uh, some type of nurse. So obviously they can help you administer the medication, they can run your vitals, and you basically have a built-in caretaker. Now, now judge it as you want, because there's a flip side to the coin where, where women select a man for certain things. Like as an example, they may not want, you know, they may not want a relationship with you really, but they want a relationship with your money, like I've said in a lot of other videos. So now just understand that hospice wives is a thing. It's kind of a, um, a little bit of a term that's been trending. So I figured I would, you know, take it under the advisement of the coffee and juice, you know, basically the parameters here. So hopefully you got something out of the video. And remember, never judge anybody for what they're doing, because one day you may put your arm into their sweater. We'll talk soon.